Last week, OpenAI announced their new AI called Sora that can make videos like this using a text prompt. And today, I'm going to tell you three ways to make money with it. Now, the general public does not have access to Sora yet, but just like GPT-4, once they've established some rules, they most likely will let you use it for a small fee. Now, I myself have made countless amount of videos explaining how to make money with ChatGPT and Midjourney. So even before they announced Sora, I knew that it's only a matter of months until AI video generation turns from this into this. But how do you make money with it? The first way is content creation. Now this is the easiest method and the most popular one. When Midjourney was released, we saw many people upload these type of videos and make millions of dollars. Even I have made videos telling you how to do this. Now this is actually really easy. Of course you can try something new and hopefully you'll go viral and get 10 times more views than everybody else. But we already know what works. You don't have to test with new stuff. We know that these type of content go mad viral. So you just have to do the research to find viral content and recreate them. But this time using Sora instead of Midjourney or Leonardo AI. And trust me when I say this, if you want to make some money from the internet, you could take your time and slowly do this. But if you want to make millions of dollars, you have to start making as much content as possible the moment Sora gets released to the public. And if OpenAI decides to not let the general public access Sora, it's only a matter of time until another company makes something similar and release it. So you need to keep your eyes open. Because we saw this exact same thing happen when Midjourney was released. In the beginning months, there was practically no competition. If you made a video like this using Midjourney, you're guaranteed to go viral. But after some time, many people got access to it. And nowadays, you have to make really good content really frequently if you want to go viral. Moving on, the second way is through selling content. This is based on the stock footage business model, but you're not actually recording the videos, you're just generating them through Sora. If you're really good at prompt engineering, you could do this really well. You could either advertise your service on freelance websites, or what I recommend is to start your own brand and start advertising that you're selling custom stock footage for any occasion. And if you want, you can also try to sell your videos on sites like Storyblocks and iStock. Of course, this will be harder than the first method, but if you can make it work, there is a lot of money in this. Anyways, the third way is by creating software that is based on Sora. When GPT-4 was released, they released an API for it, which means that other websites can take use of GPT-4 and create something of their own. And because of this, many AI tools were made using this API. Now, I'm not sure whether Sora will have an API, but again, if Sora doesn't allow it, another tool will come around and supply it, because the demand is clearly there. First of all, you need the knowledge of how exactly to build an AI tool, or you need to have the money to hire someone who does. And of course, you need to have a solid idea about the market and what type of tool will have the most demand. This will be the most challenging method, but if you can invest some time, money and effort, you can actually create a legitimate business and maybe even get investors on board and create a multi-million dollar company. When Sora gets released to the public, it will create a multi-billion dollar industry. And if you can work a little harder and put some money into this, you can easily make a lot of money using either of these three methods. Now most likely, your first try may not work, but you just have to keep on trying until one of them makes you money. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you in the next video.